This combo you have got to give a go. And it's simple, it's just me and fish. In this surf and turf dish, we're going to take a rainbow trout, fillet it, and wrap it up in parma ham. Then we're going to serve that on a bed of crushed new potatoes, flavoured with lemon and chive and some spinach. Right, cool. Okay, so really kind of fresh spring flavours. To start with though, our potatoes, we'll get those on first. Just new potatoes yep. have been washed and they're going to go into cold salted water, bring them up to boil and cook them for about 15 minutes. And this is our rainbow trout. Now, if you just kind of flicker it in the light, you can see why. It's kind of got those oh, yeah. nice colours and shades of tone in there. Is it a sea fish or a...? This one is, yep. And because of that, it has kind of a less muddy, earthy flavour yeah. than something like a brown trout or a river trout. Okay. okay. What we're going to do, it's already been gutted. Okay, I'm going to do one side, you're going to do the other. We're going to just cut from the tail along the backbone, scrape along the backbone yeah. towards the head. So I'm, I'm going to do this. You're going to do the other side. You hear that? Yeah. It's actually literally scraping on the backbone so we don't waste any of the flesh. This is one of those things that a lot of people get scared of, including me. Well, if you're not happy doing it, then we have a skill video on our website, yep. which is going to show you everything you need to know. I should really wash that. In the rest of this video, you're going to notice Ben with a blue plaster. Uh, he did just cut himself. Shock horror! Um, so I'm putting it out now so you guys don't moan at us about continuity. So, okay. You're Luckily, right. you're going to do the second fillet. So once you've got your fillet, basically, you need to pluck out all the bones as well. Pin okay. bones. I'll do that over this side while you do the second one. Like so. I'm not going to cut myself. Go in. Like that. Up against the spine, feel the, the now spine. Sit. Keep pushing. Perfect. Crazy. Very nice. Can I just do that? Flip it over. No, not that bit, that bit. Dude, Perfect. Normals, I did now, it. Now, what you're left with. I did it. Now, what you're left with is your fillet and the rib cage. You see this bit here? Yeah. It's the perfect rib cage. Lots of bones, but you can take them all out in one cut by slicing underneath it. Very narrow, and that is all the fatty, bony bit of the rib cage. And Got what you're left with is a beautiful fillet of trout. Check for any bones. You can do the same job. Borrow my tweezers and just pluck all of those out. Meanwhile, I'm going to take slices of parma ham and wrap it around our fish. Okay, so this is where the surf and turf part comes in. Ooh. Maybe two or three slices per fillet. Awesome. And once it's wrapped up, we can lay that onto a grill tray. And that can then go under the grill once we've done the second one for Barry. How are you looking? Done. So some more ham for you, Barry? Please. So is that kind of more of a smoky flavour to the fish? Well, it's a, it's a cured ham, so it's a salty, yeah. smoky kind of flavour. Plenty of bacon and then onto our tray. That can go under a hot grill now. If it needs about two or three minutes on either side to crisp up the bacon and cook the fish just through. Meanwhile, I'll get rid of the raw fish and we can prep the stuff for our potatoes. So we're going to go with chive and lemon. So, classic. Clean knife. You do it, I can't be trusted. If you can cut all of those up into fine pieces, and here I'm also going to zest a lemon. There we go. And what we can do now is drain our potatoes. Just mm -hmm. check they're cooked. Grab the biggest one, stick a knife into it, and it should just fall back off the knife, Done. like so. At which point we can drain them into there. Oh, hi! Don't splash me! Well, if you hold it a bit lower, it wouldn't be a problem. No, you. Bloody hell. Right. Next up, you if you can... You have me! Next up, are you okay? I'm, I'm alright, I'll survive. So number one, it's we laugh and tell you off. Number two, we ask if you're okay. Okay? Good. Right, mash those into there. We don't want a puree, we just want kind of a smashed potato with skins as well. And to that, Rusty. I'm going to add a knob of butter. We've also got our fish, beautiful crispy skin. And in the last few seconds, we can add our spinach to the hot pan to begin to wilt down. It takes no time at all, but we will season them. Now, often you add in milk into right. potatoes. We're just going to go for olive oil. Ooh. So plenty of olive oil in there. Really nice flavour. If you mix that through with our chive and lemon zest. This is kind of a grown up mashed potato, isn't it, really? Grown up mashed potato? Yeah. Nice mashed potato. Do you want to use a spoon? I do. <laughs> a bit of salt. Now we've got a plate here, so we can start to portion it up. Put a nice mound of potato in there. And then plenty of our spinach on mm. top of there, like so. And one of these fantastic crispy fish oh, wrapped oh. in bacon. Finishing touches with a squeeze of lemon juice. And there it is, our surf and turf trout with lemon and chive crushed potatoes, sorted. Straight into the middle. Go for it. Look at that. Mm. 
I love Palmer ham as it is. But around the fish. That is good. And a little bit of lemon juice. Wow. I like the fact that the potatoes, I've still got bits of skin in there, the lemon, the chive, it's just kind of a bit more rustic. And the olive oil in the mash, it's really sophisticated. And you can actually taste the olives as well. Mm. I like this one. In fact, I like all the recipes we do actually. All of the recipes that you can find at saltedfood.com. And if you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do it now. And like it, favourite it, and all that shit. Yeah? <laughs>